Okay, so Ravi, let's proceed ahead with your technical snap for uh, mechanical vibration and you are going for the intro of DRDO, right? Yes. Okay, so Ravi, aap mirko batao, vibration or oscillation make a difference hai? Okay, uh, oscillation is a, a type of uh, periodic motion in which uh, uh, amplitude is very high and our uh, frequency is less and same time Vibration is, uh, amplitude is uh, low, but the frequency is high. Mm. Can you give me an example of periodic motion, oscillation and vibration? Okay, uh, periodic motion, uh, my time period is fixed. So if I consider a uh, fan as a periodic motion uh, system, oscillation for that uh, pendulum is one of the example. And for vibration is our uh, system, uh, that vibrates uh, uh, any unbalanced uh, like machine equipment that vibrates. So that is the example of the vibration. The pendulum is not example of vibration? Yeah, uh, you can uh, consider it uh, part of the uh, pa part of the uh, vibration, but that is uh, uh, you uh, Yes, yes, you can consider and you can find it the uh, uh, natural frequency. So, yes, you can say that uh, pendulum is part of vibration. Okay, what do you mean by natural frequency of vibration, uh, Ravi? Okay, uh, natural frequency of vibration uh, is such that uh, is the uh, Uh, it's uh, systems vibrations we, uh, by virtue of its property. So we can calculate it by uh, root over k by m. So uh, in that frequency, a uh, system vibra vibrates very violently. So we call it uh, natural frequency. Amplitude is very high at that frequency. Okay, and what do you mean by resonance? Okay, uh, resonance uh, occurs in a uh, if some external force, periodic force comes. So if my external force frequency uh, matches with the natural frequency of the system, uh, then we call it uh, resonance condition. Mm. Okay, so when do you get resonance normally? Oh. Uh, when I get resonance, uh, sometimes, uh, I have external source of uh, force, periodic force. So my periodic force frequency is matches with my natural frequency, system's natural frequency. Then I get resonance. So can you give me some example of resonance? Natural frequency of system. Okay. So I will uh, quote an example for in a good sense. Let's suppose I have a guitar and I pro uh, I make a, a plumbed plunge on that uh, string, then I get a sound. So that is the case of resonance. So strings uh, vibrates at resonance and it makes sounds. Hmm. Okay, Ravi, what do you mean by logarithmic decrement? Logarithmic decrement. So this uh, logarithmic decrements is generally coined for the under damped uh, systems. Uh, let's suppose I have a vibratory system and I uh, vibrate seats and its uh, its uh, uh, amplitude decays over uh, time. So uh, its amplitude decays over time. So we uh, I call it uh, under. Uh, uh, so when I uh, uh, ratio of the amplitudes. Uh, make the ratio of amplitude that is constant for the every cycle. So this uh, graph, I call it uh, logarithmic decrement. And what is the significance of it? Why do we calculate it? So uh, this logarithmic decrement, every real system has the, this property. So by virtue of the damping, uh, uh, in the, uh, the property of damping, Every real system generates, uh, shows this property of uh, like logarithmic decrement uh, vibrations. Hmm. Okay, what do you understand by simple harmonic motion? Uh, simple harmonic uh, motion is uh, uh, by definition, if I uh, 
acceleration is uh, directly proportional uh, to uh, minus of its displacement displacement so uh, it means that uh, when i apply a uh, when i disturb the system it will uh, restoring force wants to uh, may, uh, restore it at mean position equilibrium position so by the concept of this uh, uh, to analyze our uh, vibratory system uh, we mathematically develop a, uh, a equations to uh, to understand our uh, vibratory systems okay okay ravi let me give you the feedback ravi maine basic question puche the aapse mechanical vibration ke and uh, you answered these questions but thoda thoda beech mein na flow maintain nahi ho raha dekho jaise aap baat kar rahe ho aur jaise main bhi baat kar raha hu usme difference ye hai that when i'm speaking the flow is maintained i'm not stopping in between बट जब आप बात कर रहे हैं तो हम बहुत बार रुक रहे हैं और वो कई बार इसको लैक ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस ट्रीट कर लेता है ओके okay. एक अदर देन नॉलेज आपको इस पे भी वर्कआउट करना है कि व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग व्हेन यू आर स्पीकिंग यू मेंटेन द फ्लुएंसी इन आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चंस बाकी आपके आंसर्स ठीक थे आपने आंसर्स वो अच्छा अच्छा दिया कोई उसमें ट्रबल नहीं है जो बेसिक्स लेवल है मैकेनिकल वाइब्रेशन का दैट इज ओके राइट सो दैट इज नॉट अ इशू एंड next level will be difficult level we'll enter deep into this particular uh, subject and i'll be asking you some english question mechanical vibration ke sath sath aap jo basic subjects hai na unko taiyar karo thermodynamics so, fluid mechanics strength of materials uh, uh, you know these are the basic subjects for you and then okay. comes the uh, mechanical vibration which is small yeah. subject, right no uh, why i'm focusing it here sir uh, my nature of job is if, like finite element analyst Okay. in a time mm -hmm. so my nature of job is like that i have to do structural analysis okay. modal and hormone mm -hmm. so if i uh, if i mention there in uh, interview then they will definitely ask me about uh, mm -hmm. deep digging on questions yes in mechanical vibration but finite element method so my... ke liye tumhe strength of material aana bahut bahut zaruri hai pehle right yes so yes strength yes. of material ha and then yes. also go mechanical vibration yes right